Hello and thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. In this video, I will tell you what is Google Vault. But before even we talk about that, let us first understand the problems or maybe the requirements we have when we are using G Suite and then understanding Google Vault will be very easy. So when you're using G Suite, there are three requirements that you might have. The first one is safety from accidental or intentional data deletion. So you started using G Suite and all your users are collaborating, they're sending uh, emails and they are collaborating on Google Drive files and they are doing Google Chat for instant messaging, but you are at a risk of losing that data. Maybe your user by mistake goes to mailbox and deletes all of the emails by an accident or maybe if he creates a rule or label that does that for him. Once that happened, once that trash is gone, after 30 days, then even Google support can't help you get that data back, so which is a data loss for you. It can be intentional also. Maybe you have a user that is leaving your organization, frustrated, annoyed, and he deletes all the data intentionally. Once the data is gone, you can't recover it, which is which is not good. So that's the number one requirement when you're using G Suite is to make sure that you have the data archived or retained somewhere. Number two is industry compliance. There are different industry verticals and some of them are required to retain their data to be compliant. In finance, for example, I know that you need to retain your emails for a certain number of years to be compliant. So if you are part of any such industry, then that's another need to retain your data. And number three is prospective legal investigations. So when you start using G Suite, all the communications are happening digitally. Your, your people are using G Suite to interact with each other, with customers, suppliers, vendors, and so on. And in case if there is a legal investigation and you need to provide evidence of any specific email exchange maybe, it would be better if you have retained that old data somewhere. So now as we understand the needs or the requirements at hand, now let's see how Google Vault can help us with that. But just to give you an overview, Google Vault is an archiving and compliance solution from Google, which helps G Suite customers like you to retain your G Suite data indefinitely or for a given number of days. You can retain most of your data, and for that I have another video which goes into much more detail which data is retained versus not. You can watch it, I'll link it somewhere here. So now let's see how with Google Vault we can tackle those three problems or needs. The first one was accidental or intentional data deletion. Once you set up Google Vault, all your emails and Google Drive files, etc., will be retained in Google Vault, which means either by mistake or by intention, if some user will delete all the data from his or her mailbox, that data is still available for you as a Google Vault admin in the Vault portal, where you can go search for that data, and if required, you can also export that specific data. The second one was industry compliance. So you are into an industry which requires you to retain your data, let's say for seven years. That is fine. Once you go to Google Vault, you can create something called data retention rules. And I'm gonna talk more about those rules. So I'll link the, that video somewhere here. So you can create data retention rules saying, retain my organization's data for seven years or maybe you can even go more granular and you can say organization-wide retain my data indefinitely forever till the time I'm a G Suite customer, but only for these subset of users, which are my management user, retain their data only for let's say seven years and then delete once they complete seven years. So that is possible and this is how you can be 
complying with your industry's data archiving or retention compliance rules. And then the last one was running legal investigations. So if you need to provide evidence, if you're working on an investigation case, you can log into Google Vault, assuming you have enough Google Vault administration or access permissions, which I'm gonna talk about in another video, which I'll link here. You can go there and run your reports. So for example, you can say, show me all the email exchanges between these two users which happen during these specific six months and then you will see all those emails with an option to export all that data so that you can use that as an evidence so that was a quick overview of what is google vault in the next video i'm going to talk about which data is covered by google vault today and what's coming in the roadmap as per google's public roadmap by the way and also how much would it cost you to get everything which google vault has to offer so thank you for watching this video in case if you have any question comment or feedback do not hesitate to put it under this video and i'll be happy to collaborate thank you so much